Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ronzoni, this is Ronzoni Beats in Life. Today we're gonna look at how to take a qual sampler beat and finish it in Ableton Live. Uh, last week we did AUM, and this is the second part of the two-part series on finishing a qual sampler beat. Uh, it's gonna be fun. When you bring it into Ableton, you can do a lot. Ableton has plugins, you can add automation easily. Uh, I'm excited to get started. In case you haven't noticed, I'm not in my usual setting. Cottage studio that I usually live and work in. Uh, I'm actually in a hotel in South Korea uh, with my girlfriend. She's in a separate room, two doors down. We're quarantined. Did not expect to be separated, uh, but here we are. After two weeks, we can go explore. We'll be in Seoul and Jeju Island, and so we have to earn our freedom. It's not so bad though. We have a nice view of the uh, mountains, and there's a Ferris wheel, and I have internet and coffee, and I can make this video. So I'm doing okay. Uh, let's get started. I forgot to mention, uh, my new EP is dropping in two weeks, and there's a link in the description. Uh, it's a bunch of songs that I did in Koala Sampler and I finished in, in Ableton. This process I'm going to show you. Uh, please give it a click, give it a pre-save. If you have Spotify, it means a lot. Okay, let's start for real. Okay, here we are in Koala Sampler. Got a kick and a snare on pads one and two, which in Ableton will become zero and one. Uh, we got sequences on sequences 8, 9, 10, 11, and these will be minus 1 as well. So this will be um, sequence number 8. And we'll see all this in Ableton, don't worry. Um, ready to export. Those are the two sequences we'll work through for the demo. Uh, we want to remove compression before we export and we'll do that in Ableton. I'm gonna leave the pitch on because we want the samples to be pitched the way they are. And we'll export. Uh, we're gonna do Ableton Live Set and we're gonna do all stems. Whole Loops is gonna give us wave files for each sequence and that doesn't really give us much to do in Ableton. Um, you can export the whole song that way. Uh, I'm not sure, but the tutorial is gonna cover all stems which will give us the stems and it requires the paid version of Ableton. Uh, I'm going to name this and send it over to uh, airdrop it to my laptop. Okay so we have our zip file, it has a project file in it. Uh, you can also see that it has all the samples um, and these correspond to the tracks that we have in Ableton and the scenes that we have Scene one, um, if you remember, was the first sequence. So sequences correspond to scenes. And let's just call this sequence one. Um, but it was actually the eighth sequence uh, in our Koala Sampler project. The first group of sequences were blank. This was page two of sequences. And uh, it starts on number eight. So you see that here, eight. And this whole... Um, row across has eights in it. Uh, now going down in the column you see the whole bunch of zeros. This was the this is the pad number. It's the pad number minus one. So this was the first pad minus one so zero. So our so what we got is sequence underscore pad minus one is the naming convention. Uh, and this is the kick. You can kind of see it and we know that our kick was on the one from before. But we can also play, and we can solo, and we can hear it. Let's go to this one. That's the snare. And uh, let's name that snare. And this here is uh, an open hi-hat, it looks like, that was choked by the snare. And then we have other hats. We have four hats on 16th notes that I probably want to consolidate later um, once we move to arrangement view, which was what we'll do right away. Uh, we want to record all our scenes though uh, up front. This way we can get aggressive and delete some of the tracks. So I'm going to record. Alright, we got a recording. I didn't record all the scenes for the demo, but I would normally do that. I would record all the scenes. Um, because now I want to get in here and I want to start uh, 
you know, organize in a bit. Now, you don't have to organize uh, all your stuff like I'm going to do it. This is a, a tutorial, so I'm going to show you how I do it. And you can skip some of these steps, of course. Just start adding and mixing it right away without doing this. I'm <laughs> maybe a little bit meticulous here and going to delete some of these extra uh, hat tracks. This is our main hat track. And I'll delete this one. Whoops. And that one. And that one. And now we have one hat track. Delete that and that. I know that hat pattern was the same for both of these scenes. Um, if it wasn't, I wouldn't have done that. And I'll join this and I'll loop it and drag it. Yeah, there we go. Or you can duplicate it, etc. Whatever, whatever you're doing. Okay, so now it's a little bit easier to look at. Um, I will do the same for our chops. These are our chops. And I'm uh, going to consolidate these, these two, these two into one, um, one track. Well, you know, so if, you're, if you want to rearrange more, you can maybe take these quarter note clips and move them around and rearrange and make new stuff happen here. But this track is finished, I'm pretty sure. I just wanted to um, clean up some of the, some of the sample uh, is off. And this is the amazing thing about Ableton is that we can just get in there and we can, we can do this. We can use warp markers to manipulate the sample. Uh, this sample in particular wasn't too bad, but um, another sample in a different sequence had this stab that kind of really threw the beat off. And so I want to go in there and do the warp markers. And I also want to add some more compression to the drums and, you know, do all that. Okay, that's a wrap for this video. I cut it short a little bit. I'm not going to go into all the features of Ableton that you can now use in your track. Um, automation, you know, plugins. You can rearrange it. You can play some instruments. You get the idea. Um, not sure what's in store for the next video. Maybe I'll think of something in quarantine. Uh, also, just wanted to mention that if you're going to do this approach, be sure that it's worth it. You know, it could take some time, and your beat might sound the same as it did in Koala Sampler in the end. So um, uh, I'll be doing it for my new albums mostly, but uh, it's good to keep in mind. Uh, thanks for watching so much, and I appreciate all the support, and I uh, hope to see you next time. Hit the subscribe button. Check the pre-save. All right.